So in Washington yesterday, folks, you had a Senate hearing about Florida insurance. And why is it so high, I think, was the premise of the hearing. And, of course, you had Senator Grassley that came out, you know, it's so high because of Biden's policies. And then he went back to sleep promptly. But then you had Sheldon Whitehouse, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse from Rhode Island, who said it appears like Florida's insurance companies, insurance market, is swirling the drain, about to go down the drain which made me kind of wonder what the hell is going on there. And he mentioned a company called Demotech, it being sort of the, the root of what's going on there in his, to expand on what he said, the concern that he had was that there's so many fragile insurance companies in Florida that should they go bust, that risk is going to go all the way up to the federal government. And the federal government is going to be on the hook to cover the hurricane damage. So, by way of background, Florida has something called Citizens Insurance Company, which is a state-run insurance group where people can insure their homes on citizens. And then if a hurricane comes in, and let's face it, it's just a matter of time, when a hurricane comes in and there's more damage than they have money, they just basically raise premiums. So they have that ability to claw that money back from the policyholders as a part of their policy, which is not good for the policyholders, obviously, but you know, that's a whole separate issue, but the, so that's 30% of the insurance. The other 70% is handled by insurance companies, some big ones, but mostly small insurance companies. A lot of the big ones pulled out when some of these bigger hurricanes came through and battered the state. So you're left with a lot of smaller insurance companies. They call them fragile insurance companies. And the problem that Florida had was with these smaller insurance companies, the rating com ratings companies are AM Best and S&P that rate insurance companies so that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac can issue mortgages to Florida homeowners. Well, the problem that Fannie, Ma Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac had was that none of these smaller insurance companies were rated by S&P or AM Best. They were just too small. They didn't, they don't want to deal with that. So in comes this company called Demotech. It's out of Ohio. So Demo, Demotech comes in and they say, yeah, we can take care of that. We can insure or we can write the, the background ratings that you need so that you can write the mortgages, right? We've got it. We'll take, we'll, we'll do what AM Best and S&P are doing. We got it. So that's where this article comes in, folks. And there was this study that was done in December of this year that said, you know, that there, there are some problems with that. We've uncovered some problems with that. And again, that's where Sheldon Whitehouse, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse is saying that risk is significant to the federal government. Florida's huge, obviously. So here's this article. This is from the Tampa Bay Times. It says Florida insurance market is full of low quality companies that study finds. And it says there are few independent studies of Florida's insurance crisis, and the report offers insight into one of the state's vulnerabilities, its reliance on about 50 small insurers covering about 70% of policyholders that are usually rated by a single company, Ohio-based Demotech, Inc. So there was a little bit of a scandal, I guess you would call it, with Demotech when Governor Ron DeSantis decided to run for office for president. Uh, Demotech decided that, oh, there's a lot of these smaller companies and we've got to drop the ratings, which means that millions of Floridians probably won't get qualified through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Governor Ron says, N what? Time out. How can you do that? And, you know, he uh, there was a little bit of a scandal about that. Of course, you don't want that kind of news when you're running for president. But Demotech was accused of being a rogue ratings agency by Florida's chief financial officer and Senator U.S. U.S. Senator Marco Rubio wrote that its ratings were dubiously based. Neither produced evidence. Demotech did anything improper. Ultimately, four insurance companies went insolvent, and Demotech continues to be the insurance industry's primary rating agency. So back to that study. In their study, researchers compared Demotech's ratings to that of AM Best, a more tenured company that rates some insurers in Florida, to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, Demotech's A rating is equivalent to AM Best's B or B+. And you know, that's a problem. So Joe Petrelli, the founder and CEO of Demotech, said the report was yet another unfounded attack on his company. He said he had other studies showing that Demotech's ratings were accurate and reliable. 
He said it's part of the big hit job that began in July of 2022, Petrelli said. Unlike most states, Florida's market is dominated by small startup insurers that sprang up as national carriers withdrew from the storm-prone peninsula. Many of the new companies had relatively little money or experience. Some were led by former politicians. <laughs> Sounds good. What could, what could possibly go wrong with that, right? So to answer this whole question, folks, about Demotech, I thought, let's just go to the website. Let's check out Demotech's website. They've got an About Us page. They had a frequently, frequently asked questions section. One of the questions was, what is the process to finalize a financial stability rating, which they call FSR, which is basically their rating that they pass on to Freddie Mac, uh, Freddie Mae, or Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. So on this page, they say this, typical information reviewed by Demotech for an established insurer may include quarterly and annual statutory financial statements. Hmm. May include? Shouldn't that be will include? Typical information reviewed by Demotech for an established insurer will include quarterly and financial, quarterly and annual financial statements. Um, yeah, to me, that's a problem because they're saying, I mean, obviously, if something does go wrong, they're going to point to something like this and say, hey, look, you know what? We're saying this may include financial statements. We didn't say it would. We're saying that it might. So, yes, I think Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, I mean, to his credit, yeah, this is this is big. I mean, here's, here's a company that is giving ratings to 70% of the insurance companies that are operating in Florida, and they may include quarterly financial statements and sta annual statutory financial statements. They might, they might, they might not. I mean, is that a problem? Does anybody have a problem with that? Governor Ron DeSantis? Um, and speaking of Governor Ron, why isn't he on top of this? I mean, this is, could be a powder keg. It's a, it's a huge amount of risk because these companies obviously are taking in premiums, right? They're happy to take it. They'll take your check. But when the damage is there and they can't pay for it, you know, if the damage is significant enough and they don't have enough money to pay for it, of course, the federal government's going to have to step in. So, yeah, I guess the question is, Governor Ron, why don't you solve this today rather than have a crisis tomorrow? 